uh, you know, your kind of uh, thought process behind uh, maybe launching Unsplash as a side project? Yeah. Uh, I have a habit of just kind of always ending up creating marketplaces. So the, the first business was a uh, crew and it was a creative talent marketplace. So what we did is connect high quality projects with high quality designers and developers, uh, automated sort of all the nasty stuff like the legal sales project management to try to get that out of the way. That largely came from my experience working in an agency and also being a freelancer. Uh, so I've also always been obsessed with kind of building things that solve problems that I saw um, because I just felt that I had sort of a, a unique understanding of what could go into a potential solution. And uh, when we were building that, you know, it takes a lot of time to sort of build up what you need to do to be able to capture the transaction. So largely in a marketplace like that, the way that you can really build something at scale is to try to own the transaction. So you're taking a percentage, but in order to do that, uh, you need to build a lot of value into the platform. And we knew that would probably take at least a year or two years before it was strong enough. So we thought, what are some things that we could sort of get people hanging around on our front porch? That's what we called it. And the ideas for that were, we were on the phone with a lot of customers all the time and they would, we would just talk and they would understand, they would say all these different problems. Of course, yeah, maybe they're looking to hire a designer, they're talking about that, but they would bring up things like, I don't know how to price this. How do I find images for this? Uh, how do you think about like even starting the company? Like, what do you need to do for that process? And what we decided to do was those are moments where we could create like a front porch of solving these little problems before they need the actual problem that the company solves. So Unsplash was just one of those little problems that we heard and we had resonated with as well as, as designers ourselves. So when we made the first version of our website for crew, uh, we had leftover photos from that we felt, hey, we could execute on this pretty quick, it'd be minimal resources, and it could maybe be a growth thing for us that would help. Uh, so we took those 10 images that were left over, put them up on a Tumblr blog in an afternoon, uh, bought a domain, and I'm super embarrassed by it. So I didn't really share it anywhere uh, except for Hacker News, because I'm like, okay, if, if it's going to get shit on, it'll get shit on, on Hacker News anyway. So let's just put it in that spot. Didn't look at it. And then a couple hours later, the photographer we worked with, he texted me and he's like, I don't know what we did with that site because my portfolio is blowing up. Went back to Hacker News and it was number one. Uh, checked the logs and we had about 30,000 downloads on those 10 images. So it was just like kind of totally unexpected. I thought maybe a thousand designers would find it useful. It seemed like it really hit a chord and was a problem for a lot more people.